Hey guys, how's it going? It's Gatlin here from Carphonics. I know it's been a long time. Uh, I'm not going to make a video about Carphonics, but I am going to make a video about uh, my friend Craig's Honda uh, SMX. It's a 1998 Honda SMX. Uh, if you can put that acronym together, perhaps you can uh, maybe see what it's all about here. So let me show you what this thing's all about. So it uh, is a uh, right-hand drive uh, Honda SMX from Japan. It's a four-wheel drive, uh, all-wheel drive. It's got the uh, same platform, same uh, drivetrain as a, I guess, a Honda CRV would be. It's got a little bit of a smaller uh, wheelbase. Uh, I'm not sure approximately, but uh, four or five inches, basically. Uh, I'll give you guys a uh, kind of a wide view of it here. It's got the uh, the nice tall uh, lamps in the back there, the lights that go all the way from the uh, the bumper all the way up to the top there, similar to a, a Honda CRV. Uh, the uh, big SMX symbol along the back here. And you've also got the uh, tailgate here, which I believe lifts up uh, in this direction. So we'll show you that. It's a very large tailgate. The shocks still work on it quite nicely. The car's got extremely low kilometers on it, only about uh, 23,000 original kilometers. Very, very large struts here. Uh, I'm sure those would be interesting to replace at some point, but luckily these ones work well. Uh, lots of cargo space back here. Uh, I figure like you could probably put like a stroller and some a pretty good decent load of groceries back here. Got some access panels here for so obviously the shocks in the in the rear. Got some speakers here. So the SMX, if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, is basically a Honda Sex. <laughs> it uh, has been marketed in Japan as a vehicle that you can drive around in and uh, have sex with. So uh, I can go into further explanation of that. All these seats here actually fold down into a bed. Uh, the bed will fold down directly. Uh, Craig will show you here. The headrest comes out like so. And we're just going to show you the one side because I'm sure you can visualize what the inside of this thing would look like as a bed. But uh, as you can see, the uh, little seatbelt things fold into there so they don't get into your butt while you're doing it. And uh, as you can see, obviously the back seat would also fold into a bed very very interesting that door there has a, a roll-up window uh, manual window uh, speaker on that side uh, Craig was showing me that there's a reading light down here uh, some interesting compartments down here I feel like you could probably stuff a whole whack load of condoms in there there's your uh, there's your reading light Craig is showing us there so it's a three-door vehicle the uh, the driver's side which would be the passenger side in Canada has a very large window on it and on the uh, passenger side, which would be the driver's side in Canada, has a third door, just like this. But this thing reminds me uh, uh, quite a bit of, a, of an element in Canada, the Canadian version, especially these door handles here that are on the inside. Um, so maybe touches of the element uh, on the inside of this thing here, kind of like the, the rubbery, weird, knobby type feeling plastics, uh, remind me very much of a, a Honda element. There's the uh, back seating area. I'm six foot four, and there's actually quite a bit of room in the back of this thing um, for me to sit. I uh, feel pretty comfortable and um, not too, too crowded in. Um, this would be for a family of four, I would guess. Something in along those lines. I will show you the now passenger side, which would be the driver's side in Canada. One more thing before I jump in there. It's got these really large, cool uh, window vent shades there. Um, most of the Japanese vehicles that Craig imports tend to have these on them, more specifically the Honda CRVs, and this one here kind of reminds me of the Honda CRVs that he brings in. Power windows on the front, very, very cool. And uh, for 1998, it's also got airbags, which is a good safety feature. Lots of uh, interesting little compartments here. This is like a, you know, a passenger tray. You could sit here and, you know, I mean, I'm sure you can imagine the things you could do on a little table like this. You've got a little bit of a cup holder here glove box here again some personal belongings in there the infamous JDM flare heading on in here to the driver's side of things you got uh, your climate controls down here manual fan you've got uh, your heat your air conditioning your settings for your feet or your face uh, air conditioning here recirculation you've got a hazard button here uh, rear defrost Craig has installed a stereo he needs to get a different pocket in here which he will do a uh, little compartment here. I'd probably put my wallet or something along those lines there in that. Uh, you got some send vent visors here, mirror on the passenger side. 
I'll take you guys now on to the driver's side and then I'll show you the engine bay after, the most interesting part. This thing's super clean, super, super clean. It's got a set of uh, no-name type uh, aftermarket alloy wheels on some really, really nice Yokohama winter tires. The, the front of it here has got this uh, very interesting little bar here. No stepping. Yeah, no stepping. No bare feet, no stepping. Yeah, no bare feet, no stepping. Um, quite a very, very interesting front fascia on this. It's very cute. I think it's meant for young people in Japan. Uh, the SMX, you can imagine what a bunch of young people in an SMX would be doing. Very, very nice set of rims there. Good shape. And right, we'll take you down to the driver's side and then I'll give you an engine shot and then I'll probably call this video a day. So this is the driver's cluster. Uh, reminds you of uh, a Honda in a lot of ways, the orange and the blue backlighting. 23,597 miles on it. Uh, it's an automatic with a column shift on the left-hand side here. Uh, runs very, very well. Uh, I believe it's got a B20 non-VTEC motor in it. Four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. Got power window controls on the right-hand side here. You have your folding mirror control, which is right here. I'll give you a little demo of that. And uh, it does that on both sides. Folds in and then uh, folds out. For tight parking spaces in Japan, you have your mirror controls here on the right hand side, the vent here, another vent here which would go on the window, horn, <laughs> and uh, a very familiar looking steering wheel that is all you guy, Honda guys could probably recognize, it's either from a Civic or a CRV of the same era. Antenna is here, it's a manual antenna, no moonroof but a nice clean roof nonetheless. I will now show you underneath of the hood. My favorite part, of course. Oh, that's the gas cap. My apologies. Here's the hood. It's a little bit dusty. We did spend a little bit of time on a uh, boat from Japan to Canada. But I mean, it's, uh, it's a B20, non VTEC. Got an air cleaner up top here. Uh, obviously, EFI, electronic and fuel injected. Got your ABS controls down here. You have uh, some of your power steering. Uh, fuel filter easily accessible there, air conditioning, and, uh, wiper fluid goes here. It's, uh, air conditioning is uh, 134A, so it's Canadian compliant, that's great. You've got all your hood stickers along here, all in Japanese, which I can't understand. Small little battery, uh, most batteries uh, from Japan always have these very small looking battery terminals on them, so the battery ends up going flat on you. You can come see me at Carphonics and we can switch that out for you. And you get your brake master cylinder there, uh, evap canister down there. So, I mean, obviously a lot of Canadian parts. Very, very easy to find mechanical parts for this thing in Canada. Nice clean oil. We'll shut this hood up here. Um, so, to conclude this video, it's a 1998 Honda SMX. That's Craig Polak from Bonsai Rides. He uh, just brought this by to show me and I thought I would show you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe and uh, give a shout out to Bonsai Rides. So it's uh, YouTube forward slash Bonsai Rides and uh, they'll be sure to help you out with all your right hand drive needs. Thanks for watching.